is Lara and I'm going to demonstrate for you today a process I call mudding. It involves using pieces of broken glass and old acrylic paint to create something beautiful. Um, I also call it poor person's stained glass. You can use this process on a variety of surfaces. So I just want to show you a few things I have used this on. So here we go. We have some lovely Altoid uh, little boxes, Altoid boxes that I've done this process on. You can see uh, this box here, a little jewelry box I've done the process on. Uh, let's see, I uh, have tried it on an old violin. Don't worry, no violins were harmed during this process. This was a violin that had a huge crack going through it. It was not repairable. And it's a little messy because it still has, it has some glue on it right now, but anyway, you can see the process. And what I, I do want to note too that, you know, this is a mosaic process. So you can incorporate, of course, other objects in with the mudding. I like to use a mirror, pennies work nicely here. I've used some Christmas lights. Um, here is a tray. So this is a metal tray. So that's on wood. This is on metal. So here's a metal tray. Um, and of course the white pieces are the pieces I have mudded and then the, um, the mirror in there and pennies and beads and all kinds of metal objects and buttons even. So whatever you want, you can incorporate it in there. If it works well in a mosaic, it's going to work well with this. So here's a piece of furniture you can see that I've also done this process on. So I've got my jumpy clothes on, I've got my hair up, and we're ready to go. Okay, so before I begin to show you this technique, I do want to go over a couple of housekeeping items. So first of all, safety. You are using broken glass for this project. I would advise that you not do it with children. And I would also advise that you wear protective equipment to your comfort level. All right, so next I wanna go over some of the equipment you will need. You will hopefully have most of this stuff and not need to buy much of it. You might need to buy a few things, but this is a repurposing project. This is a repurposing technique. So we wanna use things that, um, you know, that you already have, we wanna use, um, old paint. We want to use broken glass. You don't want to buy paint for this process. You can if you want to, but, and you don't want to uh, deliberately break glass. Okay. This is repurposing we're doing. All right. So first of all, what you will need are some paint brushes of various sizes. You're going to use the paint brushes to put the paint on the back of the glass pieces. So if you have small black glass pieces, you'll need small paint brushes. If you have large pieces, you will need bigger ones. Uh, you are going to need, depending on the how elaborate you want to be, you might need to plan your picture. If you're going to do a picture, you want to plan it in advance. So you'll need some planning materials like pencils. Chalk is nice if you're doing this on wood um, to, so you can sketch out your design in advance. You will need a glue. I like Hot glue, but also wood glue works nicely. Hot glue dries fast more, more quickly. If you're impatient, use hot glue. I, I've found that it works fine. Uh, bunches of paint, acrylic. Uh, somebody gave me a bunch of paint. So I have, this is what began this entire idea was the fact that I had all this, these different colors of acrylic paint. I didn't know what to do with it. So. This is a way to use old paint and it has to be acrylic. I haven't tried it with any other type of paint. Um, if you're gonna put objects, of course you'll need those. So pennies, mirror. I like using these bracelets that I found on the side of the road, whatever, pieces of old pieces of jewelry. Very messy, This extremely messy. So you'll need some sponges. You, I always wanna keep somewhere nearby a couple of rags one dry one wet usually works nicely you are going to make a mess especially if you're um, clumsy like me <laughs> all right next um you, you'll need your grout okay that i i'm assuming that most people know how to grout if you don't know how to grout you can probably find out pretty easily it's not difficult i'm not going to be grouting in this demonstration um and your glass pieces. So one piece of advice here with your glass, I like to separate it into small, medium, and large. That way 
uh, well, I'll tell you why later, but you, it's a good idea to separate it, small, medium, and large. Um, and I like to keep my glass in trays so that I can easily sort of sort through it to find the pieces that I'm looking for. Uh, last but not least, you need your object <laughs> that you're going to do this on. Uh, wood works the best, metal also works, glass works. Uh, however, when you do it on glass, be mindful of the fact that the back of it is not gonna look pretty. <laughs> so you don't wanna do it on a piece of glass where you can actually see the back. All right, so let's begin. So a poor person's stained glass is a very simple technique and you may be saying to yourself, okay, so I take paint, I slap it on the back of a piece of glass and I stick it to a surface and then I grout it. Yeah, that's basically it, okay? But there are some pitfalls that you can run into. So the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how I do it and I've developed this technique over time um, to avoid some of those pitfalls and frustrations. So that is what the purpose of this is to show you some of those. All right, so first of all, the first thing you wanna do is plan. Now, if you're just gonna do one color and you know, it, you're not gonna do any designs, you can just build it randomly. So you don't have to go through this step here, but if you do wanna do some designs, uh, flowers, animals, you know, any kind of animal, any kind of flower, you know, designs like that work very nicely, um, then you're gonna need to plan, okay, because you're gonna do your designs first, you're gonna lay down your designs first, and then you're gonna build your background around your designs. So here I am just gonna work with cardboard because, uh, you know, just for demo purposes, I wouldn't recommend doing this on cardboard, okay? And I've already sorted through my glass and I've pulled out some pieces that I'm, I think would look nice in a flower, okay? So that's what we're gonna do is, is a simple flower. I like to have a centerpiece. So here I've taken a nip cap. <laughs> uh, people throw their nip bottles everywhere. I pick them up and I use the caps in the design and I recycle the bottle. Very, they work very nicely in these. All right, so I've got my nip cap in the middle and I'm actually gonna, you know, you're gonna glue that. Any Anything that you're gonna use, um, <laughs> great. Anything that you're gonna use in that's not actually glass, you probably wanna glue that down first, okay? And then, you know, you're gonna plan your design. So I've already gone through my glass and I've found pieces that I like for a flower and you're gonna lay them out, you know? So, you know, this actually took, took more time than I'm taking here because I already selected my pieces. But selecting the pieces is really the fun part, I think. Okay, so lay out your pieces. For flowers, you know, triangle, triangles work, long triangles work nicely. Okay, there we go. And there I've got my design. So then I'm gonna trace, you know, with some chalk. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> this could, you, it doesn't have, this is not precise, so it, it's fine. I just wanna kinda know where my flower is gonna go. All right, so I've done that, that's my planning. All right, and very then, important. You're gonna paint, okay? Paint in advance, paint in advance. This is an important tip, all right? Because if you don't paint into, in advance, you're gonna end up with pieces with with unsightly gaps that do not, I think, do not are not aesthetically pleasing. So you always wanna paint in advance. So you've selected your colors. I've selected yellow and white, by the way, um, because that's what I happen to have. This is old yellow that somebody gave me and some old sort of iridescent, it's more like silver paint. Um, and I selected these colors in a very deliberate way. Okay, this is a, this is a tip. When you're, when you're doing your project, you want to contrast light colors with dark grout and dark colors with light grout. Okay, you want contrast. Contrast is important. That's gonna make this I think, in my opinion, more attractive. So I have chosen some light colors because I'm gonna be using black grout. All right, so, I've, so, so I took my uh, trace and then I, I painted, I pre-painted, always pre-paint. So I've pre-painted my flower area yellow and I've pre-painted my uh, silver area around it and then I'm gonna let that dry. Just let it dry, leave it alone for a little while let it dry before you actually start. Okay, so 
you have your surface and you've plotted out your design and you've pre-painted and you've let it dry and now you're ready to mud. All right, so some tips with mudding. So first of all, make sure your glass pieces are nice and clean. I always keep a damp rag around for that purpose to make sure that there is nothing on them. And then I'm going to mud. So I'm going to take, so once again, I've already plan this out right so i know the pieces i want to use so i'm going to take my paint i'm going to put a nice gen so generous is the key okay don't do not be sparing all right you want to get rid of this old paint it's been sitting around too long you want to get rid of it so be generous uh you want to put big globs in the middle and then kind of you notice i'm using a paintbrush that is an appropriate size for my piece and i'm going to kind of squish it out now the ob objective here is to put on enough so that you get nice opaque pieces but not too much because then it's going to squish out over the sides and that's going to create problems for you later not problems that you cannot fix but you want to avoid it if you can okay so uh you just stay down there boom okay then i would go all the way around with all my pieces my pre-planned flower okay And then I'm going to build my background. So the background is not planned. You can plan it if you want to. I don't plan it. This is how I do it. I take the, I, I go through my, sort through my glass and I've got them separated into small, medium, and large. And I would start with the larger pieces. Find large pieces and it's a, it's a puzzle. Okay. To me, this is a puzzle with many solutions. All right. But not everything works. This is, requires a little bit of artistic sensibility <laughs> to determine which pieces you're gonna use. And I like this part. This part to me is very relaxing. I go through my glass and I pull out the big pieces first and I put them around. Now, so I, this is a plan, this is, I mean, I'm not, I'm not mudding them yet. I'm just positioning them. So this, you know, I have already gone through and found some pieces that fit for the purposes of this demo. But this takes a while. Put on some music. Don't cut yourself. All right. So then you go around with your big pieces first, then your medium pieces, and then whatever gaps you have left, you want to start filling in with small pieces. So you would sort through and find, you know, just trial and error, right? And find some pieces that fit. Okay. And you build your background. Once you've done that, once you've built your background, you want to mud. Okay, so I would finish building this background. I'm not going to do that for this demo, but here's a nice big piece. Okay, and I'm going to use my silver paint now. Because my silver paint is beautiful. So I want to start, oh, I've got to clean this off. It's got some nasty paint on it from another project. I don't want that on there. Okay, and then start at the middle. Nice big glob, and then, in fact, I don't think that's enough. I'm going to put more on there. Generous. Be generous. This is a very messy product process. It's supposed to be. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then you just want to kind of brush it out to the edges, keeping kind of a big glob in the middle if you can. Makes it less likely to squeeze out, and boom down you go see how i see how it squeezed out around the edges that's okay you're going to clean that up later okay and you just lay down your background all right so you've done your mudding you have uh done your background and you've done your your flower and very important please don't forget don't leave this part out let it dry. So if you're using small, medium pieces like I'm using here, you need 24 hours. If you're using giant pieces, uh, you will need a much longer, maybe 48 hours. You want to make sure it's dry. You don't want, because you're going to grout this, right? And you don't want wet paint underneath those pieces. Also, your pieces will slide. They'll slide if they get too wet. So you don't want to get them too wet when you grout and you don't want to get them too wet as when you're cleaning 
them off, which I'm going to show you right now, especially these little pieces. See these little pieces? They will move. So gentle, gentle, gentle is the key. So before you grout, so you've finished your design here, right? But before you grout, you want to clean it off. You want to clean, see all this paint on the surface? You don't want that. You don't want that on there. Do not leave this step out. What will happen if you don't do this step is you will end up with tiny little pieces of paint in your grout that you will you will find yourself picking them out later. So you don't want to do that. Do not skip this step and be thorough. When you clean, you want to take a nice moist sponge and just kind of very gently, okay? And pay attention to what you're doing because um, you don't want it too wet because if it's too wet, it will dislodge the pieces underneath. And you just want to be very gentle, especially with the little guys. And you just want to clean, 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 okay? So I'm not going to finish that for you, but this does take a while. It's frustrating, especially if pieces come off. Do not panic. You can always put them back on if you need to, and do not skip this step. If you skip that step, you will regret it. All right, and the last thing you do is you grout. Mm -hmm.